Uh, my name is David Browning, and uh, I play the role of Nevis in uh, The Return of the Killer Shrews. And Nevis is um, uh, an assistant director, boom man, uh, jack of all trades uh, for a television crew who have come to Shrew Island to uh, shoot a reality show. And uh, he's um, sort of a throwback to the 80s, if you will, with the, uh, with the jeans uh, vest and uh, kind of baggy blue jeans. And uh, uh, not, he's not dirty or anything. He's just not uh, as, as well kempt as you might uh, expect. But uh, he's, he's a utility man who, who does whatever job is uh, assigned to him. When um, Jimmy was talking about uh, the return of the killer shrews, he said, well, if he said, if we ever get this together, he said, uh, there might just be a part in it for you. And uh, being a man of his word, when they got it together, there was this role of Nevis. And um, Jimmy saw me as Nevis, and I guess Dorothy did too. And they passed my name on to the director and, and the producers, and here I am. I got to see that movie the first time in James Best's home on a widescreen TV. And as the film rolled along, uh, we were sitting there, uh, Jimmy and his wife, me and my wife, and Jimmy and my wife got to talking about the movie and laughing about the movie and pointing out different things. Jimmy was pointing out different things in the movie. And we, and we laughed and we watched and we just absolutely had the best time in the world watching the Killer Shrews because it was, it was tough for them to, to even get the movie done when they did it. Ken Curtis and, and Jimmy and, uh, and the other actors, it was just on a, a really a shoestring budget that they put this thing together. And, uh, and Jimmy describing how the Shrews were created and, uh, and how the script was developed and, and the locations were picked. Uh, it, it, I've told people so many times that being around James Best is like a master's class in, in the history of movies. And uh, of course, Killer Shrews is, is part of that history, um, along with all the other, whatever, 800 or so television shows and, and uh, who knows how many movies that Mr. Best was in. Um, but Killer Shrews stood out for him because it was a labor of love uh, by a number of people and they got it done and they got it put out there and, and that's, what, uh, that's what people who love uh, this business do.